Here we want to solve 4 to the x equals 7. And let's compare this to what we used to solve to, to a slightly easier version, right? An easier version of this might be something like this, 4 to the x equals 16, right? Because then we could just say 4 to the x equals 4 squared, which then tells us that these two are equal, x equals 2. Okay, so that was nice when that happened. Note that that no longer happens. In this example, 4 to the x equals 7, we can't somehow write 7 as a power of 4 or even as a power of 2. These are inherently different. So here's the technique. Anytime you have an x stuck in the exponent like this, anytime you have a variable stuck in the exponent, the way you get it down is you take the log of both sides. And it doesn't matter if you take the log or the natural log, it'll give you the same answer. Let's try it out with natural log. So you take the natural log of both sides, make sure you do it to both sides, and then there's a property of logarithms that tells you that this x is going to come down to the front, and voila, our x is down from the exponent. So this gives us x natural log 4 equals natural log 7. Okay, now natural log 4 and natural log 7 are just numbers, so treat them like numbers. Treat them no different than you treat the numbers 5 or 3, right? They, they are just numbers. So here, divide both sides by natural log of 4, and that tells us that x equals natural log of 7 over natural log of 4. Okay, this here is our exact answer. All right, the only thing you need to do for an approximate answer is then plug that into a calculator carefully and see what you get. I get 1.404 when rounding to three places. There we go, and there's our approximation. Okay, just to be safe, let's also do the same computation using log on both sides. Okay, so here we, let's start fresh. 4 to the x equals 7. Leave some space there, and now to get the x down, I'm going to take log of both sides. It doesn't matter if you take log or natural log. It seems strange, but it doesn't. So now x equals, okay, now I divide both sides by log 4. That gives us log 7 over log 4. Okay, there's our exact answer, which would still be fine, right? You could do either form. These are both good answers. And then our approximate, right into the calculator we go and we still get 1.404. Try it out on your own if you don't believe me. All right, so both of those answers are fine.